Hello children. Today we'll do chapter 10, Light. This is a physics chapter, very important. It's a juicy chapter for the teachers. They can get a number of questions out of this. Okay, very interesting. If you understand it well, you will be able to score good marks. So let us do this chapter definition by definition, questions by questions and I'll make it easy for you. What is light? Light is a radiation which our eyes can see. Okay, Namal karna kondu kanam patya radiation ane light. So our eyes can detect light. Pa light na patya parayanengi kore super phenomenons kore patkya nande. But be thankful. Ninga ke varsham rende phenomenon matram patcha madhi. Okay, baaki super phenomenon ka higher classes le patkya. E rende phenomenon patkya nule dhanne reflection. And refraction. This is the phenomenon that we have to learn in the lesson. If you learn the reflection, you will be studying about mirrors. If you learn the refraction, you will be studying about lenses. So, in this video, we will learn the reflection. If you learn the mirrors, you will learn the mirrors, the definitions, the diagrams. Okay. So let us start. We start with reflection. Okay. In English textbook and arching and the diagrams and our e diagrams can't it to theory pedicure the top on the months like a wanger easy diagrams and him. If a number or a bulb on chai dali wherein the light and an iricum full room like other spread down. Okay. But she ang and the light and which it in yamaka characters of light we cannot study. To make our study easy, we talk about a single ray of light. Or light travels in a straight line. Previous classes le parche concept ana. Light travels in a straight line. Apo e straight line le travel hai na. Or a ray of light, how it behaves, that is we are what we are going to study. Apo adam when we are able to understand that, then we'll be able to understand this ray diagrams. Okay, when we draw a ray of light and show how it behaves, we call it as a ray diagram. But this ray diagram shows reflection. Okay, when light falls on a surface. So, in this picture, this is the surface. Any surface. If it is a polished, nice polished surface, it will bounce back the light that falls on it. That is what is called as reflection. Okay, the phenomenon of bouncing back of light into the same medium by the smooth surface is called reflection. Now this light which is falling on the surface, this light is called the incident ray. Okay, incident, falling. This point is the point of incidence. Okay, so def what will be the definition for incident ray? Light which falls on the surface is called the incident light. Next, during reflection, what happens? This same light is bounced back. Okay. But this ray is called reflected ray. After reflection, this light is bounced back. Then this ray is called reflected ray. This is the same as the point of incidence. The point of reflection. This is the same as the point of reflection. Okay. So, reflected ray is the definition. Light which goes back after reflection is called reflected light. If you have an imaginary line, we will work in the studies in easy account. If you have a line, work in the study. This line is called normal. Okay. Now, this normal and this incident ray, there is an angle between it. This angle is called the angle of incidence. Okay. A point of definition, the angle between the incident ray and the normal. Pinner, angle of reflection. Okay, it is the angle between the normal and the reflected ray. Okay, this render angle is equal. This is one of laws of reflection. This is in the textbook, in the previous year. In this year, the text is in revision. Two laws of reflection. First law is what? The angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Second law is what? The incident ray, the normal and the reflected ray are on the same plane. All are on the same plane. Means on the same side. Okay. So, this is the law of reflection you have studied in lower classes. Okay. Next, 
in this lesson you will be studying about these mirrors okay which type of mirror previous class you have studied about plane mirror now to define mirror what is mirror the surface which can reflect the light is a mirror what is plane mirror if the reflecting surface is a plane then the mirror is a plane mirror okay appo sadharana nammal kaanna mirror aanu plane mirror ipo ingala textbook il last year padichathu ee plane mirror inde characteristics endokkaanu korcha detail aayittu undu adu namakku onnu nokkam now let us learn about plane mirrors okay so this is a plane mirror and it is u in front of it and you also have a lollipop in your hand ipo ee diagram kandittu engane manasilavu who is you and who is the reflection ad engane manasilavu easy aanu this represents the mirror when we draw lines like this this represents the rough side of the mirror ee side aanu plane side of the mirror that means idana reflecting surface appo adinte artham idana ningale ningale kai la da lollipop and your reflection is coming behind the mirror idana ningale image okay so now we will be studying the characteristics of image formed by a plane mirror first characteristic is the image is virtual and erect now what is the meaning of these words virtual means imaginary the image is behind the mirror you cannot touch it okay it is imaginary it is behind the mirror that's the word we use virtual and when we say erect erect and artham the the image is straight okay it's not upside down now when you are standing here like this your head is up same way your image head is also up if the image head was down we would say it is an inverted image but plane mirrors give us erect image means as the object is standing in the same way the image is also standing okay next we have images of the same size as the object so obviously if this is your size the image size will also be same as you it will not be bigger or smaller correct the image is at the same distance from the mirror as the object okay what is the meaning of this sentence mirror inde etra doorathilana object nilkune adhe doorathilana image form aava okay uh, the distance of the object from the mirror is equal to the distance of the image from the mirror then lastly you have laterally inverted image what is the meaning of that if you see this picture you are holding your lollipop in your left hand but look at the image the lollipop seems to be in the right hand adana vyathyasam vera appo kannadi nokki njangal njamal njamal right hand pondikkanengil image nokkum adine left hand pondina madriya nokkana ellarum poi check cheythu nokkane so this is what is called as lateral inversion we say the image is laterally inverted അപ്പോൾ ഇതെല്ലാം ക്യാരക്ടറിസ്റ്റിക്സ് ഓഫ് എ പ്ലെയിൻ മിറർ ആണ് ഇത് നമ്മൾ എന്നും കാണുന്ന മിറർ ആയതുകൊണ്ട് എളുപ്പം മനസ്സിലാവുന്നുണ്ട് ഒക്കെ സയൻറ്റിഫിക് വേർഡ്സ് യൂസ് ചെയ്യണമെന്നുള്ളൂ വെർച്വലും ഇറക്റ്റും പിന്നെ ലാറ്ററലി ഇൻവേർട്ടഡും ഇനി അടുത്ത നമ്മൾ സ്പെരിക്കൽ മിറേഴ്സ് പഠിക്കുമ്പോഴാണ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ആക്ച്വലി മനസ്സിലാവുക ഓ ഇമേജ് ചെറുതും ആവൂലേ ഇമേജ് നമ്മൾ നിൽക്കുന്നേക്കാളും ദൂരത്തിലും വരാം ഇനിയും അടുത്തായിട്ടും കാണാം അതൊക്കെ സ്പെരിക്കൽ മിറർ പഠിക്കുമ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ കാണും വെറൈറ്റി ഓഫ് ഇമേജസ് വരാൻ സാധ്യത ഉണ്ട് സ്ക്രീനിലേക്ക് ഇമേജ് എടുക്കാൻ കഴിയും അപ്പം അത് റിയൽ ഇമേജ് ആവും വെർച്വൽ അല്ലാതെ റിയൽ ഇമേജ് ആ കോൺസെപ്റ്റ്സ് ഒക്കെ പഠിക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ സ്പെരിക്കൽ മിറേഴ്സ് നല്ല ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് ആയിട്ട് നിൽക്കും ഓക്കെ ലെറ്റ് എസ് സീ ദാറ്റ് now let us talk about spherical mirrors okay spherical or three dimensional shape aanu a three dimensional shape kaanikkan pattatho undana nammal ingane round aayittu work cheyane on the paper otherwise sphere ingane aanu undava okay this is kind of a sphere shape idina sphere shape ennu parayam when we are talking about spherical mirrors ee mirrors parimbam ee full mirror aayittu ingal onnu imagine you imagine it this is a spherical mirror now two types of spherical mirrors we have talked about concave and convex correct 
Now these two types are part of a spherical mirror. That is why we can see that a spherical mirror is running. That is a part tight. So this is a part of that mirror. This is a part of that mirror. Okay. Now if you see, this is a inside area of that spherical part. Okay. And this is the outside area. So inside area we say concave. And the outside area we say convex. Now again this is a three dimensional thing. When you are drawing it on paper, you show it like an arc like this. Okay, but this sphere in there, one question I'm going to tell, I'm going to render them mirrors to get done side of the end. One type of mirror will be a concave mirror. One type of mirror will be a convex mirror. But this concave mirror running in, this shaded portion on a rough side can't get it. Plain side on a reflecting surface. So, the mirror is done, it's 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 done. Okay, rough on this side. That is why convex angle inside and rough height. But outside this surface is the reflecting surface. Now we will learn some parameters of the spherical mirrors. Okay. If you have a spherical mirror, this is the center. Center of that sphere is what we call as center of curvature. But nampol ini circle light lalu mirror na pergi ambon, nampol mirror na kasihan galah matra itu pergi ambon. Apo concave mirror, ini kasihan. Ini kasihan, satu sphere inda partan. Apo ini sphere ingan ane ingil, as sphere inda center inda irkum, ada ane center of curvature of the concave mirror. Adai pola convex mirror, satu sphere inda partan. Apo ini sphere inda center Airikum convex mirror in the center of curvature. One thing you have to remember, center of curvature in a concave mirror lies in front of the reflecting surface. While in case of a convex mirror, center of curvature is behind the reflecting surface. Okay. If the reflecting surface is the center of curvature, center of curvature. In this case, this is the reflecting surface. Then the back is the center of curvature. In the center of curvature, the radius of curvature is easy to understand. The distance from the center of curvature, center to that arc, that distance is radius of curvature. Okay. That sphere is the radius of the sphere. That is the radius of the sphere. That is the radius of the sphere. Okay. Then two terms are the center of curvature and the radius of the sphere. Next, what is pole? This mirror is the same as we are learning. This is the Nadu point. The center of that mirror. That mirror is the same as the center point. That point is the pole of that mirror. That is the pole. Center of that mirror. That is the pole. Now if we talk about a line. For study purpose. The line that we draw which passes through the center and the pole. That line is called the principal axis. The line passing through the pole and the center of curvature is called the principal axis. Next thing we need to know about the mirror is the aperture. Okay, in the atra kurdal choikyar on nulya verum definition matra arnirna madi. E mirror in the size in dawalo. E distance. E mirror in the kashna tinde size mn. E distance in a paria aperture. Okay. Next concept that you need to know is concave mirrors are called as converging mirrors. Convex mirrors are called as diverging mirrors. Ni converging the artham and ella ore point lake kuti kondera. That is converging. Ponyamla mirror either evadanangil light evadna la verne. Okay. Ipa e light mirror le fall chay the reflect out, bounce back out. Alle. This concave mirror is the property of the light in one state and bounce in one point to converge. That is why we call it as a converging mirror. That is why the convex mirror is the reflecting surface of the light. This light is the reflecting surface of the light. It is the reflecting surface of the light. That is the meaning of the word diverge. Sending it deviated away. 
okay so that is why convex mirror is called a diverging mirror pa e e blue lines are showing the path of light pa light ne patti padikumbo nammal ingane ray of light aitta nu padikan povane adond ingante diagrams ne ray diagrams ennu parayum okay ini ingakku inoru term ariyanulladana principal focus principal focus endana ipo concave mirror ne patti padikanengil ഈ റേസ് ഓഫ് ലൈറ്റ് പോയി കൺവേർജ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ഒരു പോയിൻ്റ് ഉണ്ടാവും എല്ലാ റേസ് ഓഫ് ലൈറ്റ് വിൽ ഹിയർ ഐ എം ഷോയിങ് യു ഓൺലി ടു റേസ് ഇൻ യുവർ ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ബുക്ക് ഫോർ റേസ് ആർ ഷോൺ ഈ എല്ലാ റേസും കൺവേർജ് ചെയ്ത് ഫോർ ലൈനർ പോയിൻ്റിനാണ് പറയുക പ്രിൻസിപ്പൽ ഫോക്കസ് അപ്പോൾ ഇത് കോൺകേവ് മിററിൻ്റെ പ്രിൻസിപ്പൽ ഫോക്കസ് ഇസ് ഇൻ ഫ്രണ്ട് ഓഫ് ഇറ്റ് പക്ഷെ കോൺവെക്സ് മിററിൽ എന്താവുണ്ട് ഒക്കെ റേസ് ഡൈവേർജ് ആവുകയാണ് ഒരു ഒരു സ്ഥലത്തിലേക്ക് കൂടി വരുന്നില്ല പക്ഷെ ഈ മിററിൻ്റെ ഉള്ളിലേക്ക് നോക്കുമ്പം ഇറ്റ് അപ്പിയേഴ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ദ സ്റ്റാർട്ടിങ് ഫ്രം വൺ സിംഗിൾ പോയിൻറ്റ് ദിസ് ഡൈവേർജിങ് റേസ് ഹാവ് വൺ സിംഗിൾ പോയിൻറ്റ് ആസ് എ ബിഗിനിങ് ഇറ്റ് അപ്പിയേഴ്സ് ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് സോ വി സേ ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ ഫോക്കസ് ഫോർ പ്രിൻസിപ്പൽ ഫോക്കസ് ഓഫ് ദ പ്രിൻ കോൺവെക്സ് മിറർ സോ വാട്ട് ഡു വി സി ഹിയർ in the case of a convex mirror the principal focus is inside the mirror appo ee idu two important terms aanu principal focus inna or important term aanu focal length focal length endane the distance between the pole and the principal focus is called the focal length okay appo in this case this is the focal length in this case this is the focal length okay so all lenses will have their own center of curvature appo namaka sphere onum work inde avashyamilla i said lens sorry all mirrors all mirrors will have their center of curvature will have their own focal point they will have their own focal length and all okay appo ini ningalku padikkanulladhu or ray of light e concave or convex mirror le tattiyal how will it be uh, how will it behave അത് എങ്ങനെ ബൗൺസ് ആവും എങ്ങനെയാണ് അത് ഇമേജ് ഫോം ചെയ്യുക ആ ഇമേജസിൻ്റെ ക്യാരക്ടറിസ്റ്റിക്സ് ഒക്കെ എന്താണ് അതൊരു റേ ഡയഗ്രാമിലൂടെയാണ് നമ്മൾ പഠിക്കാൻ പോകുന്നത് അത് നല്ല ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് ആണ് അത് ഫോളോ സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ബൈ സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ഫോളോ ചെയ്താൽ ഒട്ടും തെറ്റാതെ നമുക്ക് സ്കോർ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റിയ പോയിൻറ്റ്സ് ആണ് ഓക്കെ